fine big baby, I'll share. This is a very bad dude. Very bad dude. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Dog Pound. I'm M Dog, and I want to thank you all for spending your time here with me. I've got a really cool video planned for you guys today. But before we get started, I truly appreciate it if you'd smash that like button, share this video with a like minded friend. And then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content. You guys help us out tremendously just by doing those couple of things. You can also follow me over on True Social, Facebook, X, Instagram, and Patreon at the Dog Pound with M Dog. And I'm now posting videos over on Rumble at Dog Pound with M Dog. That's all one word spelled just like you see it right here at the bottom of your screen. And if you'd like to help us out in a big way, you can do so by becoming a member of our Dog Pound family by clicking on that membership button. By doing that, you'll receive discounts on all Dog Pound merchandise, and you will get your name added to the credits of all of our videos. You can also help us out by grabbing one or two of these very cool Dog Pound t-shirts. Now, let's get started. Welcome to video number 12 of our video series featuring hunting firearms and properly titled tools of the trade. And man, am I excited about this one. Now that we are in the month of March, us hunters are starting to get prepared for the upcoming spring turkey season. You hunters down in Florida and other southern states may be already out in the turkey woods stalking those long beards. Yes, I'm a little jealous, but I'll be out there soon enough. One of the most important tools that a turkey hunter has is their shotgun. That is, if your preferred turkey hunting weapon is a shotgun. So, today I'm going to be sharing my new turkey gun with you guys, and then we will see how well it performs out on the range. I'm talking about this brand new Mossberg Model 835 Alt Mag Tactical Turkey Pump Action. 12 gauge shotgun and this is chambered in two and three quarter three inch and yes three and a half inch magnum it's a beast but as you can see the chamber is open there's nothing in the chamber nothing in the tubes weapon is spot checked prior to each and every video to keep everyone here safe and sound on set so we're good Introduced concurrently with Federal's 12 gauge 3.5 inch shot shell, the Mossberg Model 835 All Time Mag Pump Action has been on the market since 1988. Based on the proven Model 500 with necessary changes to reinforce the action and barrel for the longer, harder hitting load, the 835 has proved to be an incredibly versatile and reliable shotgun. Turkey shotguns have evolved from general purpose guns into feature specific designs. The 835's basics remain the same. The receiver is aluminum and the blued steel bolt has a top lug that engages a barrel extension. Dual steel action bars link the bolt to the slide and there are dual extractors on either side of the bolt face. The action release is on the rear of the trigger guard and the trigger guard housing is made of molded polymer. The magazine tube has a five round capacity for two and three quarter inch shells, and it holds three three and a half inch shells. And with that being said, let's take a minute to check out the specs on the Mossberg 835 12 gauge chambered in three and a half inch magnum.
The overall length of the 835 is 37 inches and the overall unloaded weight is 7 pounds. It has a 20 inch barrel that has a full length ventilated rib. It has a high visibility fiber optic front sight and this tactical turkey model comes with Mossberg's X-Factor ported turkey choke tube. The buttstock is a six position adjustable synthetic stock with a removable high rise cheek plate and a five shell side saddle shell holder. Say that really fast. The Tactical Turkey 835 comes decked out from choke to butt in Mossy Oak Obsession camouflage. I'm getting things ready for turkey season so the ammunition that I'll be using are these three and a half inch number four shot from Winchester. These shells each have two ounces of shot traveling over 1300 feet per second. Yes, they have a lot of recoil and they aren't cheap with a retail price of around $30 for 10 shells. Now, that is cheap compared to some other more modern turkey loads which could cost you around $75 for 5 shells. I have harvested quite a few birds with these Winchester Double X number 4s so I like sticking with the ammo that has produced results for me. It's just my personal preference and I'll keep using them until I have a reason not to. We've got our targets already set up downrange. Let's head out there and have some fun with this new tactical turkey shotgun and I'll see you guys back here in a bit for my final thoughts. Let's roll. What's up everybody and welcome to a beautiful day out here on the range. Bluebird day today. Temperatures right around 65, 68 degrees. Just a beautiful day. We are going to have some hopefully have some fun with the Mossberg 835 all-time mag. We're getting prepared for the 2024 spring turkey season. We've got some heavy duty turkey loads out here that we're going to test. But first, just because I've never shot it, brand new gun, we're going to start off shooting a few shots with the seven and a half turkey, or, uh, target loads, just regular low brass uh, shot shells. That way, just to make sure everything's functioning properly, and see what kind of pattern we're putting on target with the regular, just regular bird shot. Once we do that, I'll let Taylor shoot it a couple times, and then we're gonna move it back and start slinging some heavy duty lead. We've got some Winchester XR, the long beards, 12 gauge, three and a half inch, uh, number four. If you don't mind, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Helps us out tremendously. We truly appreciate all of you. So, let's have some fun. We're gonna load it up with some seven and a half shot. All right, so we're gonna start here at 15 yards. And this has the AccuMag, it's the 695 extra or all tie full choke tube. This is specifically designed for turkey hunting and turkey loads, uh, but it does handle all lead, stuff like that, um, but just lead only. So this is, a, like I said, 695 choke tube, and we're gonna sling some seven and a half shot just to make sure that the gun functions properly. We are now loaded up with three and a half inch Magnums turkey loads, number four shot. Probably not going to be pleasant if you're allergic to recoil. You might want to tune away. But we'll start at 15 yards, see what kind of pattern we get, and then uh, we'll step it back, probably do a 30, and then maybe even out to 60. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully everything goes well. Oh. 
And that was me. That's not a dead turkey. I moved. We're going to do one more because uh, I pulled on that one. I felt myself pull. I know. And being this close, I would have missed that turkey more than likely. That's how easy it can happen. But the pattern is really, really tight. That's a... Yeah, at 15 yards. So let's throw another one down there. See if I can't do a little bit better aiming this time instead of uh, flinching. All right, so now we've moved it back to 40 yards. So we'll fire it from 40 and see what kind of, see what kind of pattern we get out here at 40. That's a lot of, a lot of pellets hitting that target. There's a, uh, yeah, somebody's wondering why I got Taylor's thing wrapped around here. It comes with a cheek plate, but because I couldn't get, I'm thinking about putting a red dot on it uh, or a scope, but as it is right now, uh, I couldn't get it adjusted just right to where it fit me perfect with the cheek plate on it because it's a high rise cheek plate. It's probably a high rise cheek plate because of the recoil that this thing does give. So I took it off and um, yeah, I'm almost wondering if I should probably have left it on and just dealt with it because uh, it walked me in the face pretty good. So I wrapped Taylor's hoodie around it gave me a nice little cushion so the you know, recoil was very easy to manage uh, shooting it with when it when the cheek uh, when the stock's not beating you in the face other than that that's why I've got this thank you I appreciate it so let's go check out this target and then we'll let you shoot it if you want to Yeah, she kicks. A little bit. Well, at least my cheek didn't get busted. <laughs> yeah, I was the guinea pig on that one. I, that's all right. All right, guys. Well, Taylor and I are grateful for having you spend your time here with us on the range. We hope you enjoyed the time that we had out here uh, as much as we did doing it. So, I learned a couple things today. I'm going to be putting the cheek plate back on this tactical buttstock because with the three and a half inch turkey loads it's uh not very comfortable on the cheekbone so i'm putting the cheek plate back on it and next time you see this gun before we head to the turkey woods i'm gonna put me a little a little rail on here and uh, throw a red dot on and that'll keep my head up higher so that way i don't have to have it trying to you know look down the, the rib there to the sight just one of them things that you, you're glad you find out on the range so you don't get out in the woods and figure that you know you can't see your sights. Other than that, this gun is an absolute beast. You saw the patterns, monstrous. 40 yards and 80% of the shot in the kill zone with this Altai full 695 choke tube from Mossberg. Just an awesome combination awesome gun the Mossberg 835 has been around a long time and honestly I think they keep getting better and with this tactical buttstock which I really do like having it to where you can adjust that makes a big difference especially when you're wearing different types of clothing you can adjust for that fact having that stock on there which is really nice and the recoil pad is super spongy so the recoil in your shoulder is not as bad as what you would think it was just in my cheekbone not having that plate i learned a lesson today that's what we do but anyway until next time i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh please don't forget to hit the like button share it and that helps us out tremendously but until next time me and taylor are gonna get up out of here what do you think yep
Yeah, I'm going to go play my muzzle loader now. Yeah, let's go play with the muzzle loader. Guys, until next time, Mossberg, 835, all time ag. Kicks like a mule. Kicks like a mule. With the three and a half inch mags in it. Other than that, not bad at all. I mean, really, it, it's a it's a beautiful gun. Yeah, it's got a good camo pattern. Awesome. Great turkey gun. Can't go wrong with a pump. Pumps are very reliable. If you're in the market for a turkey gun, don't overlook these. Uh, just a sweet gun, and for the for the you know, pretty cost effective for what this is bringing you. Uh, so just keep in mind when you're looking. Don't over don't overlook the Mossberg 835. Just make sure every shot's counted. <laughs> don't when, you, miss. when you're using those big boys, make sure that you're on target. Um, or at least that you've got a small head and you're able to use the cheek plate without having to take it off. Not a fat head like mine. So other than that, we out of here. Mossberg, 835 all-time mag. 12 gauge. Three and a half inch Magnum. This is a very bad dude. Very bad dude. And we gone. See you at the Boom Boom Room for my final thoughts. Welcome back to the Boom Boom Room for my final thoughts on the first shots fired review of this Mossberg 835 all time mag tactical turkey 12 gauge chambered in the mighty three and a half inch magnum. This, my friends, is a beast. There's really nothing else that I can say about this turkey slayer. It is totally designed to give turkey hunters every advantage in the field, and you feel like Mossberg paid attention to the requests of turkey hunters over the years. You get a lighter gun to carry around since they added the fully adjustable tactical buttstock it may not seem like much, but when you're walking around for several miles a day, you really appreciate that weight reduction, especially if you're lugging around other things like decoys, your turkey vest that's full of calls and other essentials, maybe even a portable blind, and if you're one of the lucky ones, a 20-pound long beard. And having the high-rise cheek plate and the side saddle five shell holder that you can easily remove if you choose to, are both very nice features on the buttstock. I also really like the 20 inch barrel on this shotgun. I had an incident over 20 years ago where I was turkey hunting with my older 835 all time mag and I missed a huge gobbler. Not easy for me to say. That turkey came in from my weak side and I had to quickly adjust to get a shot off. When I turned, the end of my barrel hit a limb and the turkey busted me. So those extra few inches in the length of your barrel can make a huge difference when you're in tight spaces. And then having the ability to shoot two and three quarter inch, three inch or three and a half inch shells just adds to the overall appeal and versatility of this shotgun. I really can't find a reason to not like this gun. If you're in the market for a new turkey hunting shotgun this spring, make sure you check this one out. I can promise you that you won't be disappointed. And good luck to all of you. I wish you nothing but the best and the most success this turkey hunting season. Please don't forget to smash that like button on this video. And if you enjoy the content that you see here on our channel, it helps us a lot if you hit that subscribe button. You can always unsubscribe later on if you suddenly have a change of heart. Even if you don't want to subscribe to this channel, Please make sure you are subscribed to your favorite Pro 2A channels. All of us are working very hard to keep this type of content alive and well right here on this platform. But we need your help to get our content out so it can be seen by everyone who shares our passion. So from all of us here at the Dog Pound, thank you in advance for caring enough to do so. I'd like to thank the following businesses for all the help they've given to the channel. Steel's Gun Shop, Spider Burst Targets, Ballastall, Timber Trail e-bikes, and the Scent Stopper. We couldn't do this without their support, so please be sure to check them all out because all of their information will be included right down here in the description of this video. And as always, my fellow freedom-loving family, may you live as long as you want, 
never one as long as you live. Shoot straight, shoot often, stay safe. But most importantly, God bless you and yours. I'm M Dog, and I'll see you next time on the Dog Pound. Mossberg, 835, all time ag, tactical turkey, 12 gauge, chambered, and the big boy, three and a half inch magnum. And this, my family, is an absolute beast and a very bad dude. And we gone. Boom.